Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Today I'm going to tell you how to increase sleeping bag warmth. I'm going to give you 20 tips and two things not to do. How do you increase sleeping bag warmth? That's what we're going to talk about today. How do you get more mileage out of what you've bought with all of your different sleeping bags that I'm going to show? But before we do that, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button that helps support my channel, and please leave me a comment below, let me know how I'm doing, and give me some ideas about things to cover for you. So let's get right into it. Thank you. First thing, adjust your feathers and down. Now, you may not know this, but some sleeping bags actually have what are called continuous baffles. And what that means is you can actually unzip your sleeping bag, shake the down, and it will actually begin to shuffle into the chest area and warm the sleeping bag up. So that's a very slick trick. Not all sleeping bags have that feature, but those that do like my Megalite here, and my antelope sleeping bag from Western Mountaineering, you can actually shake the bag and get the feathers more onto your chest to get you warm. That's tip one. Tip number two, add a liner. So I have and used this thermal reactor liner from Sea to Summit. All it is is just, it's just kind of like this silky sock sort of thing that you can put into your sleeping bag and it becomes a liner and that increases the warmth maybe from five to maybe seven degrees. I would say no more than that. But if that's all you really need to get a little bit more out of your sleeping bag, these liners from Sea to Summit are really slick. Now, if things are getting really hairy and you need much more warmth, tip number three is add a vapor barrier liner. Now, these are not comfortable. It's like sleeping in a garbage bag but the mylar lining inside this thing, that uh, shiny aluminum business there, or mylar, can add a huge amount of warmth to your bag. Make sure that you put this vapor barrier liner inside your bag so you'll get inside the liner and then jump in the bag and zip it up. Do not put it over your bag because that will cause your perspiration and respiration to fill the down and actually make things colder. So you keep this inside the bag and you'll stay much warmer. Tip number four, get some booties, people, booty, booty. Not talking about that booty, I'm talking about these booties. Get yourself some down booties. They're only a couple of ounces, but this makes a huge difference in sleeping. I've used these in Greenland and the Arctic, Denali, Kilimanjaro, Elbrus, Antarctica, the Rocky Mountains, the Sierras, just about everywhere. And the number one thing that keeps me up are cold feet. Not cold feet like you don't wanna get married, but just plain freezing cold feet. So getting a pair of down booties is huge. I'll put links below to everything of these objects so you can check them out and boost your warmth rating. Number five, increase and improve your ground insulation. If you are only using a Z-Rest or a Thermarest, or you're only using a light duty, small, thin insulated pad upgrade, maybe you need the Thermarest Extreme. I've got a video on this as well. I've got a video for this pad as well. By upgrading from the basic pad, to an insulated pad, you can make a huge amount of difference. And if you really need to go hardcore, get the X-PED down mat. This thing will take you into some extreme locations. The next step, number six, is use double pads. What does that mean? That means if you want even extra warmth beyond adding the extreme uh, thermal or the downlight, is add a Z-Rest on top of these because at minus 30 and minus 40 degrees, nylon actually gets a, a, a thing they call cold soaking where it feels like you're touching metal. It, it's really unpleasant. So what I do in extreme locations like Denali, Antarctica, and Greenland is I will use the down mat or this extreme uh, Thermarest air and I will put the Z-Rest on top of that that combo will make it much, much warmer. Okay, number seven, 
wear some clean wool long underwear. Now I'm not going to put these on and show you because I don't want to do that, but these sh underwear shorts or the long underwear here can make a huge difference. The wool on there will keep you warm even if you're sweaty and grimy. So adding some wool long underwear on a shirt and on your legs, just adding that can make all the difference in your sleeping warmth. All right, the next uh, concept is number nine. Air out your sleeping bag every morning. So I don't know, you, I know you probably don't want to do this. You just want to zip the darn thing up and get it stuffed in your bag. But if you actually unzip your bag, open it up and flip it completely inside out and just leave it on in your tent if it's super cold, or if you have some sun, bring it out. But by airing your bag out, you'll actually make it much warmer because the perspiration from you and your respiration actually has a chance to evaporate out. Even if it's cold, it's surprising how well that works. So definitely make sure to air your sleeping bag out every morning and flap it. That'll make a big difference in increasing your sleeping bag warmth. Number 10, eat some high energy food right before you go to bed. Now there is this effect called, I, I called it cold hunger or a food coldness where if you eat the blood rushes to your digestive tract and it makes you colder however if you eat some high sugar something or other right before you go to bed that'll actually get you revved up get your metabolism cranked then that'll actually help warm you up because the whole goal of this activity is to not have to buy an $800 sleeping bag when you have a five or six hundred dollar sleeping bag that'll work instead of a nine hundred dollar sleeping bag or an $1,100 sleeping bag. So if you can get some more mileage out of your less expensive sleeping bag with these techniques, that's huge. And sure enough, the next thing on to section two, number 11, do some jumping jacks or push-ups before you get into bed. Get out there, one, two, three. Now that's the problem is it's the least likely thing you're going to want to do. You're not going to want to do item number 11 because you're tired, you're cold, but by flapping your arms and jumping up and down, being safe when you're doing it, of course, you can actually build up that heat, warm you up by using your muscles and jump in your back. It'll make a big difference for you. Number 12, pre-wrap your bag on you as you're sitting in the tent. So just put that thing around you a little bit. It'll also keep you warm and warm you up. But what I do is when I'm in my tent, I just put my bag, not completely around me, but I just lay on it and it warms the bag up several degrees. And that way when I get in the bag, it's not minus 30 or minus 40. So that makes a big difference for me. All right, number 13, add some hot water bottles to your sleeping bag. Now, obviously this is a mug, but here you get the idea. Get some boiling water going, put them in your Nalgene, screw the lid tight, turn the bottle sideways and make sure it does not leak. This is so important. And then also put your water bottle in a waterproof bag. So if you get a leak at night, you don't end up a total disaster. Adding some boiling hot water bottles to your sleeping bag is like, Ah, it's all the difference. Some people use rocks out of a fire. I don't like that because I can't control the temperature. It could be too hot, burn myself, or completely destroy my bag. So if you're gonna use that technique, that just be aware. But a boiling water bottle won't get any hotter than boiling, and it for sure will not damage the fabric of your sleeping bag. Okay, and that brings me to point number 14. Go relieve yourself of bodily fluids prior to going to sleep, as in go pee, okay? By doing that, you'll get out all the fluid out of you. You'll get rid of that cold, I need to go reaction where your feet get cold and miserable. I know, again, you don't want to do this. You just want to jump in and get out of the cold. But if you relieve yourself, you'll actually feel warmer and you'll sleep longer before you have to wake up and do it again. Number 15, wear a hat. This is a huge tip because the theory is that you lose at least 20% of the heat out of your head. So even though you may have this massive sleeping bag around your head, 
that nylon can still be a bit chilly. So if you add a hat to what you're wearing, you can actually warm yourself up a lot. It's a huge difference. And if it's hardcore cold, you need a hardcore hat. And this I bought uh, for, I got a, one of my friends gave this to me for my Antarctic expedition. It's double line fleece, cool Santa hat. I'm already getting hot putting this thing on. I mean, it, it's roasting me. So just by putting this hat on and then jumping in my sleeping bag can make all the difference in improving and extending the warmth of my sleeping bag. Next, wear fresh wool socks. Do not wear the socks you've worn all day that are sweaty. Always have a clean pair that you dedicate just to sleeping or if it's a weight consideration, swap one pair out from the other because stinky cold socks will make you cold. If it's hardcore cold, get the Mountaineer or Expedition Smart Wool Socks. These are the ultimate sock. They are so insanely thick. They're like a light duty moccasin. These will keep your feet incredibly warm and this will extend the warmth of your sleeping bag. Next, wear a neck buff. Now you might have seen some people wearing these things and you put them on your head and you know, it looks cool, it keeps the sun off and whatnot, but you can actually get the polar style neck buff that has a much thicker fleece lining and you put that around your neck and that will definitely increase the warmth of your sleeping bag by putting this around your neck. You can already get warmer and you add this to the hat and in minutes you're going to start sweating. I guarantee you this. Now, I have been in Antarctica, I have been in the Arctic, in Greenland, on Denali, and lots of cold places, and all these tips I'm giving you, I have used, and sometimes everything at once to make sure I don't freeze. Next uh, is the fleece pillow jacket. So I don't use typically a down jacket. I always bring, well, I, I do, but I always bring a fleece jacket to wear as my layer just above my inner shirt, because even if it gets completely wet, it will keep me warm. And it also acts as a very nice pillow. I do not like sleeping on my down jacket as a pillow. So instead, I use this as my pillow, and then, ah, uh, it's, it's much more comfortable and it's much warmer. The next thing is, wear less clothes. Now I know this sounds completely absurd, but the problem is in a sleeping bag, if you end up compressing the down from the inside by wearing too many clothes and mushing this down, you will actually make yourself colder. I know it doesn't make sense, but the old saying is sleep near naked and stay warm. There, there's probably a better way to say it, but I literally, when I go to bed, I just have uh, basic boxer underwear, long underwear, and some sort of shirt on, uh, a fresh shirt like this, a real thin shirt, or a long sleeve shirt, wherever that might be, um, th these, something like that. Wear some wool long underwear and sleeve shirt, and you will stay incredibly warm. Even when it was minus 50 in Antarctica, I had my long underwear on, I had my long sleeve long underwear shirt on, and I actually was able to stay very warm. Next, open your bag early. This is point number 20. As soon as you get into your tent, pull your sleeping bag out of the stuff sack and just jam it up against the wall of the tent so it can expand. Because if you just yank your sleeping bag out super, super quick, and it doesn't have time to reloft and you get in, I guarantee you, you will freeze for a long time, you will think your sleeping bag's defective. It's not, but it takes time for this down to reconstitute. So those are my 20 ideas for how to extend the warmth of your sleeping bag. But let me give you one extra bonus idea here. One extra bonus idea is use your down jacket and lay it on your feet of your sleeping bag or over your chest. Only use the down jacket though, do not use something heavy. And that brings me to the two do not points. So that's your extra bonus there is do not 
add a blanket to your sleeping bag because again, if you add a blanket or regular fleece clothing or something on top of your sleeping bag, that actually begins compressing the down and that will actually make you colder. I've actually thought, oh, it's, it's freezing. I should put a blanket on me. I put a blanket on me and I woke up freaking freezing. So that is definitely the first point about not compressing your down is don't put a blanket on you, put it below you or use a down jacket and put that on you because the down won't compress the down of your sleeping bag. That's a big factor. And the final do not do is do not wear cotton t-shirts, cotton pants, cotton socks. You will freeze. When it's super cold, cotton will make you colder. I know it's comfortable initially, but it picks up the oil and it just does not retain heat. Uh, my best story about this is I went to Death Valley one time, didn't expect to be camping out, didn't have a sleeping bag, I just had this little synthetic blanket and I thought, oh, I'll keep my socks on to keep me warm. I woke up at 3 a.m. and I thought I'd lost my toes. I took off my cotton socks and I was actually warmer. Go figure on that. So two points about staying warm and not wrecking your bag is don't put a blanket on you and avoid cotton when sleeping. Use wool or synthetics. Wool won't smell, synthetics pack down a little bit better. So there you go. I've given you 20 different ways to extend the warmth of your sleeping bag. One super bonus way of extending the warmth and two things to completely avoid to <laughs> not make yourself that much colder. I hope you found these very helpful. I know this has been a super fire hose, but I will put links below to all the different products that I talked about. That way you can check them out and hopefully extend the warmth of your sleeping bag. My name is Aaron Linstow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Please like, comment, and subscribe on my video. And also please support me on Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. Thank you very much for watching.